guys, it's Saria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this really cute little Winnie the Pooh inspired honey pot. I did make this for a friend of mine in a Valentine's Day box swap. That video is already up if you would like to check it out and then head over to her channel to see her unbox it because Winnie the Pooh is one of her favorite characters and I thought it would be a really cute way of like putting candy and treats inside. I have done a DIY honey pot like pencil cup holder, pencil holder thing, um, a while back when I did like a school supply video, so I'll have that linked in the description box below, but this one is specifically supposed to look exactly like the honey pot from the cartoons, and I did do a blue color instead of a brown just because blue is cuter. <laughs> I do want to say thank you to you guys who have subscribed already. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you watching these videos and leaving comments and liking them and all of that stuff. It means a lot to me and it's just so encouraging to keep my channel going. So just a quick thank you. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I put out regular Disney DIYs and content and I mean obviously if you clicked on this video you have a little bit of interest in one of them. <laughs> By the way, if you are a big Winnie the Pooh fan and you want to know about the ears on my head, I did do a tutorial on these a little bit ago, so I'll have that tutorial linked in the description box below, as well as a card above if you want to check it out. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. So starting off, I already had this glass jar that was perfectly shaped like a honeypot. I did get it from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be painting it with some chalk paint. So I'm using the Ivory Chalk Paint by Waverly. And I'm going to mix it. Um, I did have two blues, but I decided to go with this a little bit darker one. It's called the Two Blue, I believe. So I just added um, a drop, and then I mixed it. And then I did add, decide to add just a little bit more um, of both paints because I didn't want to run out of this paint color as I was painting it. Um, that's something I tend to do is like I under mix and then I try to get the exact shade and it's really hard So make sure that you mix enough paint when you first start And also I would suggest using like a little plastic container with a lid Because then if you make too much you're gonna have to do most likely at least two coats on this so That way you can just like save the paint that you haven't used and use it on the second coat and then once you have all of your paint mixed, you're going to do what seems super obvious and paint it. I do prefer to use um, sponge brushes when painting glass with chalk paint. I think that they work a little bit better than brushes, um, especially for the first coat. I'm not really sure why, I just I tend to get a better result with them. Um, but I did already kind of assume that I was going to have to do a second coat, so I'm just making sure to cover it. But um, as far as like seeing strokes and stuff, I know that I can get that covered on my second coat of paint. And after doing the lid, I'm going to go ahead and do the actual jar. Now, after making sure you've done two coats, um, I am going to go in with my disappearing ink marker and just write out the word honey. Um, you can also do this in pencil if you want to. I just like that this ink I know is going to disappear. It does disappear really quickly though, so um, you kind of have to move fast. <laughs> And then I'm just using this blue puffy paint to outline the letters. Um, I did something very similar to this a while back. I think I mentioned this in the intro where I made a honey pot that was a pencil cup. I will have that video linked below. Um, and I'll be honest, I felt like the pencil cup actually did come out a little bit better than this, but I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through where I messed up. So um, this jar is very, very rounded, which makes everything harder. Um, 
just because you're working on like not a smooth surface. With the puffy paint, I do wish that I would have tested it out because as you guys just saw, the puffy paint like exploded onto the jar. Um, so I had to go in and kind of clean that up. Um, I love puffy paint. I use it all the time, but it, if you're not being careful, then it can kind of, you know, do that. So this is what the words looked like after the initial application. And then I'm just kind of going in and trying to even them out um, because some spots were thicker than others. So next I'm using this acrylic paint and it's actually a multi-surface paint, which means that it's a lot thicker than a normal paint. You could also use yellow puffy paint for this. This part ended up being kind of tricky just because of this um, like lip on the top of the jar, like getting the paint to look like it's actually spilling outside of it. I do end up going in with a brush and kind of smearing it around. This paint is also almost completely empty, <laughs> so I had to kind of um, use what was left in here. And when I first did this, I only added a little bit and then I decided to add more and I kept adding more and more and more. And I, I don't know, you guys tell me, but I felt like I did end up adding a little bit too much and I should have just, you know, left it as less is more. Um, but I do love how this paint actually does kind of look like honey. Like it does in the cartoon. It's very thick and drippy and has that kind of effect. But I'm just using this brush to kind of smear it out. Um, also, you want to do this because in the past when I've done this technique, if the paint is really thick, it will drip down a lot. Like it'll pass the words on the jar and then you won't be able to read it. So you don't want it to be too thick, but obviously you don't want it to be too thin either. It's kind of a, you know, you got to play around with it. So now I'm just going to go in with my actual finger and just kind of like smudge the paint around a little bit because I was having trouble with the brush that I was using. This is like the, the epitome, the catchphrase of this craft. I just had like a little bit of trouble with every step that I did, <laughs> even though I've done a craft very similar to this before. And then that's pretty much it guys. That's all I did. I did. <laughs> Um, as I said, I ended up adding more, but I'm leaving that clip out because I don't think that you should do as much as I did. <laughs> um, but I'm just smearing it a little bit on the inside so that it does truly look like it's um, oozing out of the edge. And then I just let it dry and added some candies inside of it as like a little candy jar. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on recreating this. And what color would you paint your jar? Are you gonna do it blue or would you do a different color? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in my next video.